and then there's op-eds um, or um, uh, sometimes a letter to the editor, sometimes there are uh, uh, op-eds at editorial boards. And this is a, an example of what um, Howie um, sent to the Gotham Gazettes um, back in 19 about Green New Deal when he first introduced it way ahead of what the Democrats you know, have been talking about. So this is a, a one op-ed. This is an example of an op-ed. This is a portion of it um, for sure. But when you do have these opportunities, because they're, they're free, um, local papers have it. Um, even certain radio stations, local radio stations, like in Madison, um, WORT has um, on Mondays, you can schedule yourself to be on the air for an hour and talk about something. You know, so utilize those things that are happening in your areas as well. Some even Chicago has um, public access, um, Chicago um, access. Yeah, Chicago can TV. So you can like schedule like your organization to go in there and talk about an issue also. So, again, it may be low budgeted and maybe something less um, viewership than, say, like WGN Chicago TV or. Um, you know, Telemundo or whatever, but you can still, because of the digital age that we're in, you know, we can still send out, you know, links and spread stuff on social media where Chris will get to in a moment to actually have a greater viewership, all these things. So, but particularly op-eds, um, use, use this to your advantage, you know, you, this is your controlled um, environment as well and craft it in the way you want to address the issue um, and again talk about things that really needs to be talked about that happens